Introducing the world's first mobile walking excavator, the XCMGET 110. The key feature of this model is its unique ability to move over challenging terrains, including steep slopes, uneven surfaces, marshy areas, and waterlogged sections. The excavator was developed by the Chinese company XCMG, a leader in construction machinery. This excavator is equipped with an innovative undercarriage system that allows it to overcome obstacles up to 2 meters high and climb slopes with an inclination of up to 45 degrees. Additionally, it can operate in extreme cold and high altitude conditions and can be remotely controlled, which is particularly useful in rescue operations and disaster response. These types of excavators are used for both construction and rescue tasks. They have become part of the Chinese Armed Forces program providing flexibility and efficiency in hard-to-reach areas. The American company Aptera Motors is planning to spark a transportation revolution. The company is developing an electric vehicle that can travel up to 1,600 kilometers on a single charge. To achieve this, they will equip the car with a 100 kilowatt-hour battery. The designers plan to make the future electric vehicle three-wheeled, featuring a lightweight teardrop-shaped body with aerodynamics inspired by the aerospace industry. The base version of the vehicle will come with a 40 kilowatt hour battery, providing a range of 650 kilometers. The developers intend to install a 50 kilowatt motor on each of the three wheels. Despite this, the car will be very lightweight, a goal Aptera aims to achieve by using 3D printing for parts production. However, before mass production begins, the designers promise that the vehicle will undergo all necessary crash tests to prove its safety for both the driver and passengers. Nissan has unveiled a concept vehicle designed for rescue operations in mountainous, snow-covered areas. This is a modified version of the Nissan X-Trail, equipped with tracks instead of wheels to effectively navigate deep snow and challenging terrains. The vehicle features the E-Force all-wheel drive system, which provides excellent traction and stability, even in the most extreme conditions. Inside, the rear seats have been removed to make room for rescue equipment and passengers. Additional modifications include emergency lights and a winch for conducting rescue operations. The primary purpose of this vehicle is to assist rescue services at European ski resorts. It has been showcased at several major European locations, including the Cervinia Resort in Italy. Japanese specialists have always been not only highly skilled, but also imaginative. For example, a group of engineers from Four Link Systems has introduced the first-of-its-kind transformer electric vehicle. In its compact form, the car is highly maneuverable and takes up very little space. However, when the vehicle's elements extend, the car's center of gravity shifts lower, it becomes longer, loses some maneuverability, but gains significantly in speed. The car is equipped with a compact chassis that can be modified within a wide range. This design ensures greater maneuverability on the road and compactness when parked. The transformation is controlled by a special joystick, while the driving controls remain traditional, based on a steering wheel. The Finnish company 18 Wheels has created a unique electric off-road vehicle with 18 wheels. Each wheel is mounted on a suspension that provides a special trajectory of movement, resulting in a smoother ride in off-road conditions. Each of the wheels not only has independent suspension, but is also powered by its own electric drive, making the vehicle resemble a caterpillar crawling over uneven terrain. Based on the video released, the off-roader's capabilities are truly impressive. 18 Wheels Company claims that the design easily overcomes obstacles up to 20 centimeters high without losing speed. The vehicle can accelerate up to 30 kilometers per hour. The company is currently seeking investments for further development. The startup Von Mercier is developing a highly unusual vehicle called Arosa. It's an electric boat that resembles a sports car in shape but lacks wheels. Instead, it moves across surfaces using an air cushion. Arosa features a molded carbon fiber body complemented by wooden inserts that serve as the deck. 
The vessel is equipped with an air cushion underneath, allowing it to travel not only on water but also on grass or even snow, and to climb a boat ramp independently. Powered by three motors with a combined output of 240 horsepower, Arosa can cruise at speeds up to 32 km per hour and accelerate to a maximum of 80 km per hour. Depending on the battery capacity, either 18 kilowatt hours or 36 kilowatt hours, the boat's range is from 64 to 129 kilometers. The vehicle can also be recharged at regular electric vehicle charging stations. The Stella car, created by a team of Dutch engineers and designers from Solar Team Eindhoven, is the world's first solar electric car designed not just for one or two passengers, but for an entire family. This electric vehicle can accommodate four adults or two adults and three children. Equipped with solar panels on the roof, the car can reach speeds of up to 145 kilometers per hour. With a weight of 1.2 thousand kilograms, its range on a sunny day can reach up to 710 kilometers. The presence of a rechargeable lithium ion battery ensures the car's functionality even in cloudy weather, though on shorter distances. The vehicle also has a built-in battery that allows it to store energy for use at night or in bad weather, and its lightweight carbon fiber body makes it highly energy efficient. French engineers from Lazarus have created a prototype of a next-generation flying motorcycle called the Moto Volante. The Lazarus LMV496 is a one-of-a-kind vehicle that defies simple classification. At first glance, it looks like a futuristic motorcycle with four wheels instead of two. However, it quickly transforms into a flying machine straight out of a sci-fi movie. The motorcycle weighs 130 kilograms and is equipped with four small jet turbines that allow it to lift off and fly. To switch from driving mode to flight mode, the rider activates the turbines, which lift the vehicle off the ground and enable it to hover in the air. According to the manufacturer, the speed in motorcycle mode is 130 km per hour, and the maximum flight height is around 90 cm above the ground. In the future, the model is expected to ascend to even greater heights. Which of the vehicles shown in this video impressed you the most? Share your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.